Good day, gentlemen. Marsha, are the girls inside, Miss Prudence? My first day at school, I'm already late. That looks wonderful, Marsha. Thank you, Miss Prudence. Thank you for being so prompt. I'll have to learn a lesson from you. Hmm? Now, it will be our custom here to begin and end each day with a prayer. So why don't we all bow our heads? <sighs> Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Dance, Miss Crandall. You wouldn't want to insult your host, would you? I suppose it would be rude. The town selectmen have decided to observe you at your school. Oh, I'm afraid Dr. Adams and Mr. Frost are worried that I'm teaching their daughters to think for themselves. Well, they'll come around. May I tell you a secret? The only reason I gave this party was to find an excuse to dance for you. Well, I hope I haven't disappointed you. I can't imagine you would ever disappoint me, Miss Crandall. Thank you, Mr. Gibson. I believe we're being watched. You don't think they disapprove? I suspect they do. <laughs> now listen carefully and repeat after me. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? It's very good. Merci. No, thank you. Je suis très bien, merci. Je suis très bien, merci. Je suis très bien, merci. Tu es très bien, merci. Tu es très bien, merci. Tu. Tu. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Well, here's something. I don't know what Charles sees in you. My intelligence. Very good. Now, shall we continue? Am I going to have to force it out of you? I thought you accepted this ride simply to be with me. I did. Well, what did the selectmen think of my school? Dr. Adams was effusive. And Mr. Frost? Delighted. And Reverend Whitten? Even the very Reverend Whitten conceded he's never seen a school run so well. That leaves only Mr. Andrew Gibson. Mr. Gibson is the happiest of all. bride of quietness, thou foster child of silence and slow time. Marcia? I've made a list of goods we need at Mr. Coit's store. Yes, ma'am. I'll do it right away. 